Eliel, it's been quite an offseason for you guys. Um, talk about the differences that you were able to have this summer in a semi-post-COVID world as compared to last summer where you guys really weren't able to get on the court and bond and do everything you guys normally would during the summer. Oh, yeah. Uh... It was really quite really like a different because like even last summer we, we came we came by to lay because of COVID and everything but uh, this summer we had the chance to to really get back to it you know like it kind of get back to the normal type of ways uh, yeah so we, we did a lot you know we uh, we we trying to build our chemistry because uh, you know every year the team is different there's new guys on the team so we're just trying to like build a chemistry and then I think this summer was really a good one. Uh, a couple of the other guys have talked about Coach Lanier has really pushed you guys. You know, even though obviously this is a senior-laden group, um, I think he knows what your y'all's potential is. What has that been like to really push y'all all summer long and obviously even the fall practice? Oh uh, yeah, I would say just like to make us understand that like uh, as leader we have to lead by example, so we have to be in front. Like at the end of the day, like. I understand that for we can and like adjusting everybody understand that like that's what we have to do. So like we just you know like he definitely push us. Like we it was tough but at the end of the day like we know that we know that was coming. Like we every goal that we have as a team here as like uh, personally, it's just something that we, we needed. And then I think that everybody respond really good at it and then uh, we just put our head down and just move forward. You've been around the program now for two years, but obviously last year was the first year you were able to get on the court. Um, talk a little bit about that season. You averaged a double-double a game. One of only seven players in the program history to ever do that. Um, obviously, the end didn't end the way you guys wanted to, but just overall, with everything you guys battled, talk about that season a little bit. Oh, man. Uh, we everything that happened, I would say that the season was awesome. Like, I definitely didn't expect to, to to have a quiet season like that. I, have my, I always have my, uh, my goal high, but, like, you know, it was just like, in the type of ways that we were together, we, we fight adversity. We had some time where like, we, are, like, uh, we had to shut down practice. We practiced like with four people on court. So it was tough, you know, but uh, I just like, I like it. And, and I just, I love it. Like I love the guys on the team, the coaching staff, like everybody on the same page. And then when you, everybody's on the same page, like that small spread in practice or like in games different, you know? So I try my best to, to help my team win. Uh, definitely didn't, we didn't, uh, the result that we needed, we didn't get it, but uh, definitely looking forward for this year to kind of like uh, push and go, go further than we did last year. Obviously now moving into this year, we've got probably the biggest roster of people we've ever had with the super seniors and everything we've been able to do. It could be very easy for there to be little clicks of, of guys, but it really does seem like this group has already come together. It's just a bigger group than what we've seen before. Um, Kind of what, your, what are your thoughts on, on the new guys that have come in and obviously the experience group that we've got back? Oh yeah, uh, that's 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 one of the things, you know, like when when the guy uh, decides to come back, we we we, we, we talk and then we, 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 we tell each other like what we what we need to do and uh, you know like we got some young guys we talented that like uh, gonna bring a plus in the program and then to be honest it's just like hey man like there's like we have to come together if you wanna do this everybody gonna bring something even like you play five minutes you play 30 minutes 20 minutes whatever the case is everybody has to bring something in the table and then i think that everybody understand that and then everybody wanna wanna be part of this tournament. last question for you uh, a lot of people know your journey to getting to georgia state um, to me it's quite a unique one because i don't think a whole lot of people really get those opportunities and, and i don't even want to say get those opportunities work for those opportunities because that's truly what you've done but just kind of briefly um, for our fan base. Give us kind of the, the, the short version of getting from the Congo to, to Georgia State with a whole lot of stops. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. It's been a hell of a journey. Like, yo, and that's why I always say I thank God for, for the opportunity because a lot of people and young uh, young kids like me back home didn't have this chance. But more talented than me, you know, but they just didn't have this chance. But yeah, I live I lived in the Congo when I was uh, 18. Uh, came to Canada, man. Didn't know anything. Didn't know Engl any English word. That's just like I'm good. I how are you? That's the kind of table like hello, like the stuff like that. But you know, uh, just work my ass off and then just like have that chance, like to to get found in the AU team and play, you know. And then uh, 
God is changed. I even didn't know like this. You know, you know like big names, right? Like we know like some big school, you know some big players in the league because I, I remember I was, when I was back home, I was waking up at 3 a.m. because of the time difference to watch like NBA and stuff. You know big team, but you don't know like who's this coach, who's that. So like I remember like when it was like AU in Vegas, I was just there like playing hard. And then there's some coach that's looking at me. I'm like, I can't feel this guy. Why are you looking at me so much? You know, and then I end up knowing that, oh, that was the Cincinnati coach, you know, so that was, where uh, things happen and I had a chance to get there. And then from there things were good, like win twice, we had a good team. And then uh, things happened, you know, like, and I decided that like, it was time for me to, to explore some new origin. And then uh, I'll say this is the best decision, one of the best decisions I made in my life to come here and Georgia State, you know. Love the city, uh, love Atlanta, love the staff and coach, love the players, everybody, you know, like when, when people say things or people don't count you, like they put you like aside, it just give you like this hard head to like work hard, you know. And I think like we got unbelievable be good players in this team and then like they work their ass off every single day. So if you know it just push me every day, I'm like, hey man, I need to do the same. So like I'm I'm so thankful to be here, I'm so thankful for the fans that like always support you, us, no matter what they're always there, like uh you know, every, everybody run the program, you know, it's just like, it's it's the place to be. I, 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 I'm gonna feel that, uh, feel that out there, but I was thinking about retiring in this city. So, hey, maybe 10, 20 years from now, I'm mean, gonna come back here, because I love the city, I love, I love like, uh, everybody run the program, and I think that like, we did a good job to just like, come together and be a family. Like, uh, my family's far away from home, didn't see them for six years, but uh, I have a family here, I really can't say that, and uh, I really appreciate that.